There's this crazy thing going on right now with Popeyes. I don't really know what's so crazy about it because I grew up on Popeyes and I never thought it was anything that special, but in Canada, we actually don't have that many Popeyes. I think there may only be like three in the province that I live in. And my buddy's like, yo, you wanna go get some Popeyes today? It's like an hour drive away from us. I'm not doing anything, it's Sunday, so we're about to go get some Popeyes. Whoa, damn, whoa, you need a red carpet. You look like a movie, you need a red carpet. It's a random ass day. I'm with my boy Ryan right now. We're on our way to pick up Jackson right now. This is turning into like a day trip. And then we got his dog in the back. She's chilling too. Yeah, we got the whole squad going to Popeyes gang, gang. right now. I hope they got dog biscuits in there. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like an hour and a half drive to Popeyes. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna do a review. I gotta make a vlog out of this because uh, I got no vlog content today. I may go to the gym. It's legs. So do I really want to go? Nah, nope. I don't think any of the boys are hearing legs today, <laughs> so I could X that out. Picking up this guy right now. Oh, my boy is wearing a kosher shirt. Yo, perfect timing. Kosherapl.com, YouTube fam discount code. Go get you one. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Apparently, it's like a food strip. It's better than the Vegas food strip, so we're just gonna walk around the food strips today. Not the Vegas food strip, just the strip itself. Just the whole strip. <laughs> just the whole strip. It's better than the whole Vegas strip. <laughs> this doesn't look like Vegas, though, bro. I'm seeing all type of fast food signs. It goes all the way down. <laughs> this is better than Vegas, bro. Oh my God. Wendy's chicken sandwich first. Popeye's next. A&W. Dairy Queen. Lil Caesars. I brought my appetite. I'm going for everything. I feel like, uh, we cashed out. Yeah. <laughs> we dropped like 60 bucks in there all together, probably. Spending $30 at a like, fast food restaurant is kind of nuts. I dropped like 15. You probably dropped like 20, 25. Easy 20. Dude, that's like, that's like 75 bucks we just spent. <laughs> I was just saying this. I was just saying this. I think it's hype that is good, you know? Cause like, is the food actually good? Or is it good because like, we want it to be good cause it's so hyped up. It's kind of like, are Yeezys good looking shoes? Probably not, but are they hype? They are, so people think they're good looking, you know? A smash with the chicken biscuit. I think I, that's five biscuits. You had five biscuits? Yeah, and then I had a chicken sandwich, fries, and macaroni and cheese. If I had to give it a rating, I'm gonna have to give it. I would give it a healthy like eight. I was just about to say eight out of 10, eight yeah. out of 10? Yeah, 8 out of 10 for me, for sure. 8.4. 8.4? Jack's already been there a couple times, so that's an honest rating for him. 8.4? 8.4 is good. I think I'm gonna stick with my 8. Pretty sure there's a different chicken sandwich in the States than there is here, because the packaging looks different, and the chicken's bread was different too from what I've been seeing on Instagram, so I think we have different ones in Canada, but that chicken sandwich is probably, that's probably a 7 out of 10 chicken sandwich. Yeah? Yeah. yeah, it was really good. It was good. Definitely good. Yeah, it, it, it was like above average for sure. It could have been a bit spicier. Yeah. Like at the Cajun, I don't know. I don't like spicy food. Yeah, I, been... I liked it. Yeah. I think next time if I was to go, I would just get chicken biscuits though. Like just straight chicken biscuits. That's like a cheat code. Oh yeah. Chicken in the biscuit. Yeah, you gotta put honey on your biscuits. If you don't put honey on your biscuits, you're disgusting. Right? <laughs> your mouth is dry, you're disgusting. Or if you're not drinking water with it, Nah, you're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> So as I told you guys, I've been working on the new RKTs, the Navy version of the one that I'm wearing now. So I went on my Instagram yesterday, put up a poll, see what you guys think about the new logo versus the old logo. And just to clarify, I feel like some people thought that I was changing the name of the whole entire brand from Coach Repeal to K plus APL. In reality, all I was doing was creating a different logo. It wasn't to change the name. It wasn't so that you pronounce K plus APL because that actually means Coach plus apparel so I just feel like there was a bit of confusion with that the poll came in it was like a 70 30 split most people wanted the original logo and then the other 30 percent wanted the new logo so obviously I got to go with majority rules I was just gonna show you guys what I was thinking I would do for this one here as you guys can see this is pretty much the new logo that I was working on it's just kosher 
plus apparel. Honestly, it was just like a new artsy way to do that, to kind of switch it up from the original logo that's been going out for this launch. And majority rules, I did the poll for a reason. I'm gonna go with the original logo. I kind of wanted the new logo, but I maybe in the future I'll do something with that on a different shirt, something, some way incorporate that new logo. But yeah, I'm gonna go with the original one for these next Navy ones. I'm still not sure when that's gonna come out. I had a launch date in mind. Some things happened on the back end. This sample took forever to come in. It got stuck at customs and just stuff's always going wrong. So I'll let you guys know when that finally goes up. I'm pretty sure there's some sizes still left on the restock for this one. Like I said, the YouTube fam discount code is back up. Get you a percent off. So go check out whatever sizes is there. Cop that. And if you have caught one already, you already know that I appreciate you. I wanted to update you guys on what my program is looking like from the last time. Today I'm running the second block of legs and usually on this day I go in, I do light squats and then just all my accessory movements with a different rep range than I would on my first leg day. The first time I went through this, I had really low volume for my hamstrings. So if you see now between both of the leg days in the week, my volume has been increased compared to when I showed you guys the program the first time. So total up my total volume for the week with hamstrings, you'll see that I am getting 13 sets of hamstrings a week, quads, 18 sets. And then for calves, I'm getting about 14 sets of calves a week. And I feel like this is enough for what I'm going for and building my physique. Like I said, I'll keep you guys updated as I keep tweaking this. Uh, right now, this feels like a good range. My squat weight has been going up every week. So super happy about that. Hopefully we could get back to that 325 squat that we're at for four before we started prep. I think we'll easily get back to that with proper uh, progressive overloading. I'm gonna go in and hit legs right now. You probably already saw the B-roll of that. I'm gonna end the video right here. If you guys are new, join the crew, subscribe to the channel, leave this video a like before you leave, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.